Hey guys, um, long time no talk, although I upload my videos kind of regularly because I am behind, but I feel like it's been a long time since I've talked to you guys. Um, it is mid-April now, a couple days after Grayson's birthday, and so I thought I would show you guys what he got for his two-year-old birthday in case you were um, looking for some two-year-old birthday presents, I guess for a two-year-old boy, these are what he got and what he's liked and what he's been kind of met about. So um, I'll just show you a couple things. There's some things down here and then there's some things upstairs. Some things I haven't even put together yet um, just because we're kind of taking it slow and um, he doesn't need to play with anything right off the bat. But I will show you what he got. So one of the things that Grayson got is this, it has his name on it and it's just like matching tiles and it says two plus on it. Um, and you just, there's a handful of tiles and it's basically a matching game. So um, you just put them all, you know, down like this and then you have to try to find matches. If you find a match, then you get to keep them and go again. And if you don't, then you have to turn them back over and um, and then the next person gets to go. And it's a lot of cute designs. They're all animals and it's really cute. Gray knows most of them. Um, there's an island, which is kind of random, but most of them are animals. Grayson um, doesn't really understand the point of matching, of the matching game. Um, I'm trying to teach it to him, but he doesn't really seem to understand it, which makes sense, I mean, like he is too. I don't know, a matching game just kind of seems advanced to me. But he does like looking at the animals and he does understand like I need to, there's two of the same and so I need to find them. It's just like once he finds two, he thinks it's over and he doesn't want to keep going. But we're working on it. He does like playing with it a lot. He just doesn't really understand what the game is. <laughs> Um, okay, so one of the things that I got Grayson, and this was to have him practice become a big brother, and it's this baby doll. Um, it came with a pacifier that you can remove. You can also remove the outfit. Um, it came with a hat, and it also came with a little stuffed animal that kind of matches this. I don't know where it went. Um, and so I've been working with Grayson on trying to practice, like this is what it'll be like when we have a baby. I mean, obviously this is fake, but it's better than nothing. I will have to insert a uh, clip or two here of Grayson uh, working on the baby. <laughs> you can't do Humpty sat on a wall with the baby. Oh, oh. He does not really get the whole baby thing. He just chucks it. He thinks it's kind of like a toy, which I guess it is a toy. It's just a baby doll. And some people might think that's kind of weird. Why did you get your son a baby doll? Um, but again, we're training to be big brother and I want him some kind of, I want him to have some kind of experience with it to know like this, you know, baby. And I try to teach him like, you need to give the baby kisses, which he does. Although a lot of times he'll just end up licking the baby's face. I think he likes to lick the eyelids, like the eyelids open and shut, but he does like playing with the baby. He just, I'm trying to teach him like how he's supposed to be with the baby and he just wants to chuck it because he's a boy. So we're working on it, but he um, he does seem to like the baby. This toy I got him and it wasn't for his birthday, but it was for Easter. This is actually at Target in the back of the store and you just push it and it you know, moves all the confetti around and um, it doesn't make noise, but it does light up and Gray yeah. loves it. Um, we kind of, if you go back in my videos, back to October time, we had something like this, um, but it was Halloween themed and it actually played music. I think he would definitely like it more if it did play music, but he does love this thing. This is another thing I got him for Easter. It was like a dollar um, and it's one of those imagining where it's got like the pen, the pen's right here and um, you can color on it and it'll only show up on the paper like it won't show up anywhere else which is really good for kids. Gray doesn't really care for coloring. I guess it is ages three and up. He mostly just wants to eat the marker. <laughs> he doesn't really get coloring but we're working on it um, and it was like a dollar so. 
We're working on it. Yeah, there's your tile Octopus. game, huh? Octopus. Octopus. It is an octopus. Um, this is another thing Greg got for his birthday. He loves trucks. And it, he's like, no, I want to play. Let me open it. Okay. Here you go. Um, so he got this for his birthday. It's just a little toy truck, and it comes with, like, a little person in it. Um, and he likes it. He loves trucks. He's always liked trucks, so. Like I was saying in his two-year-old update video, he doesn't really do a lot of imaginative play, so he doesn't really understand, like, how to play with it, but he does like the truck. Um, I think as he gets bigger, he'll be able to, like, play pretend with it a lot more. Um, Grayson got this for his birthday. It's a tiger soccer ball and gray likes this he likes to kick <laughs> yeah you see me playing with it he likes to kick balls he likes to throw them it's cute because it's like tiger themed and hey what does the tiger say Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> um, so he does like playing with it although he is still little so he doesn't he doesn't like play with it too much but once it gets warmer outside, we can take it out in the backyard and kick, and it'll be really fun. I want to put him in soccer when he gets older, so this is a really fun thing to get him started with. We don't have a soccer ball, so this will be great practice. Grayson got this for his birthday. It's a little dinosaur toy, and it comes with this egg. And basically, it's actually really cool. Um, it has these different tiles, and each of the tiles have different things on them. So, like, this is a robot. Um, this is an emotion, angry, um, hip hop, and so you can like customize it and depending on what you put in his back, he like does different songs and different dances to it and he actually does move. Um, there's like wheels on his feet and he, it's actually really fun. Um, I think I enjoy it more than Grayson does. He, I think he just doesn't understand like all the things that you can do with it. He does like how it can sing um, and play music but I think I enjoy it more than he does. And it's really cool because it has this egg that you can put all the extra tiles in so you can keep them all together and hopefully not lose them. We haven't lost anything yet, but it's only been a couple days since his birthday. So we'll see how it goes. Grayson got a ball for his birthday. It's just a bouncy ball and I think that's a whale. I'm assuming it's kind of creepy looking. Um, he, I mean, he really doesn't do anything with this. He doesn't really understand it, but it's cute, and he likes the sparkles in it, but he just, like, he's just, I don't know, not that into it. Grayson got this um, Paw Patrol stuffed animal for his birthday. This is Chase from Paw Patrol, and he loves Paw Patrol. So this is a really cute gift. He's not that into stuffed animals, um, kind of like his baby doll. He just doesn't really know what to do with them. So um, I think as he gets bigger and he can like imaginative play with them, like it'll be good, but for now he doesn't really care for it. <laughs> so this is a cool little laptop that Grayson got for his birthday. It's from Leapfrog. Um, you can open it and the screen moves so you can make it into a tablet. He's kind of freaking out because he's scared of it right now. Ignore the mess. We have too many toys. But he is scared of this laptop, and I will show you why. Um, but this is a really cool thing. You can turn it on, and you can slide this back and forth. And it's got ABCs, 123s, email, games. Um, it's got music on it, and you can do different things. It's really awesome. Okay, sorry. I had to turn off that Elmo. It was annoying. So anyway, yeah, this is really cool. You, it's very interactive. You can push things, and different things will happen with it. Like you can make different music. Now I'll show you what Grayson's scared of and we'll see if he <laughs> runs away. It's been a couple days. Um, they have an ABC version. So you can push like B and it'll say B says bath. And then it'll show you an animal. And it's really cute. Well Grayson is scared of V so I'll show you what it is. It's really not scary. So it's not scary. He seems to be doing, oh, oh, no, <laughs> there he goes. So it's not scary. I don't know if it's like the creepy music that goes with the vulture, but he's very scared of it, hence him running away. 
Um, so he's kind of weary of the laptop. I think as he gets bigger, he will play with it more. But for now, he's very scared of the vulture. He'll come to me and he'll say, it's scary. <laughs> so poor thing, we're, we're working on it. So Grayson got a Mr. Potato Head. It's kind of missing some of the um, uh, parts of it, but you get the gist. It's from Toy Story. It's Toy Story themed, hence like the sheriff get up with the hat and everything. Um, Gray likes this. He likes taking it apart more than putting it back together. Um, he had a mini um, Mr. Potato Head, and I think he likes this bigger one just because it's it's got more pieces and it's bigger. Um, so this was actually a really good gift. He really likes this. This I have not opened yet, um, but this is a little gourmet kitchen. This was actually on sale on like Black Friday at Walmart for like $20. So I've like saved it <laughs> till April to give it to him because it does say two plus, but I haven't opened it yet, but it comes with like all of the tools and stuff. And so he can have his little pretend kitchen. Um, it's really cute. So I can't wait to put that together for him. This Grayson got, it's a little chair, um, and I believe it does say Grayson on it. It's just one of those like pop-up chairs you put outside. So I'm waiting for it to get nice enough outside for us to take it because I think he'll really enjoy um, sitting outside and, in the chair. Uh, this is another like kind of one of those mess-free coloring pages. Um, again, I, Gray's not too into the Paw Patrol one that I got him, so I'm waiting until he gets a little bigger to have him play with it. It does not say on here, um, oh no, it does say, it says three and up. So I'm just gonna wait until he gets a little bigger, but it does look like it's a good like car activity. So if we ever go on a road trip, we are supposed to go to Gatlinburg in July. We'll see with this whole coronavirus if it's still gonna happen. But if it does, the drive from here to um, Tennessee is like, five hours. So that would actually be a really good activity for him to do if he is into that in a couple months. So um, I'll keep you updated on that. So here's another toy that Grayson got. Um, he kind of has everything everywhere right now, but it is a cute little um, checkout counter and has like a bunch of different like play food. This is yogurt. This is like a chicken leg cereal, mac and cheese, and it also came with this cute little shopping cart. So it's actually really cute and they even have, um, you can open the drawer and it has, uh, I probably won't let me open, but it's got, it's got like credit cards in there, play credit cards and that you can like swipe here and then it also has fake um, coins that you can use. It also comes with a scanner, which I don't know. What Grayson did with that, he likes to play with it because it makes a noise and so he likes pushing the button. Um, I don't know where he put it, but he does like playing with the scanner, but again, he's not very into like imaginative play. So as he gets older, I think he will like it, but for now, he's kind of like, meh. <laughs> um, Grayson's playing with another toy that he got. I have it near our board games, but it is a, technically a game. It's called the Wheels in the Bus Game. Um, we haven't really played it yet, but yeah. you kind of like spin it around and then push it and then it'll sing Wheels on the Bus. Um, and so he really likes it because he loves Wheels on the Bus. So he actually really likes this. There it goes. Yeah. So he really likes that game. Okay, so we are upstairs in the guest room where a lot of Grace toys are. I need to clean because it is a mess. But this is probably Grayson's favorite toy that he got. It's like the Little Tykes Farm toy and it's got animals and a farmer and then like he can push buttons and interact with it. He loves this thing. He plays it all the time. Grayson also got this, um, let me show you he got this little piano mat and you can turn it on and like push it and it'll make music you step on it and stuff he doesn't really understand this so he hasn't gotten into it yet but once he gets older I think he will really like it Grayson also got this kind of Lego set we haven't put it together yet it seems a little advanced for Grayson although it does say ages um it does say ages two to five on it but I just feel like he was he's gonna lose all the pieces so I might 
wait until he gets a little older to open this, but it's actually really cute. He's got a little slide and a little playground, which I think would be really fun to set up and build. Grayson got this cool pirate ship, um, which I, again, find that I have more fun with it than he does. It's very interactive. You can close it to make it look like a pirate ship, or you can open it, and then it becomes like Treasure Island. It comes with like a treasure chest. It comes with like little people. Of course, I don't know where the little people are because Grayson chucked them somewhere. Um, it comes with like a little cannon. You can like shoot the cannon ball out of the cannon. So it's actually really fun. Um, Gray doesn't play with it too much. Again, imaginative play, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> Grayson got this cool um, Lego set and it's supposed to look like an elephant although I keep building it and he keeps taking it apart and you can like put things all these different things in here and they all have something different on them and it'll like sing songs and explain like what the picture is um Grayson really just likes to take this apart <laughs> he doesn't really understand playing with it um but hopefully as he gets bigger he will understand it a little better Grayson got a lot of puzzles for his birthday, which is good because we didn't have very many. Um, he got these kind of more advanced puzzles. They have nine pieces in them. And he actually enjoys these the most. Um, I thought he wouldn't be able to understand these yet, but he actually does really well with them. I have to help him, obviously, but he really enjoys playing these. He also got this one of the world. He hasn't quite understood this one because the pieces are kind of shaped funny, um, but I think this would be a great way for him to like learn the continents, which is really awesome. He got this dinosaur puzzle one, and basically it has like a mat that looks like this and then has puzzle pieces, and then once you put the pieces together, you like lay them on the mat. He doesn't really understand this one. It's a little too advanced for him, so I'm gonna keep this until he gets a little bigger. Um, but it's really cute and he loves, he keeps saying the animals, even though they're dinosaurs. <laughs> this is probably Grayson's favorite puzzle that he got because it is a baby shark puzzle. And if you take the pieces off, it'll sing like daddy shark, mommy shark, baby shark. And so he really enjoys that. Grayson got a ton of books for his birthday, which is awesome because he loves books. This is one that I got him. Um, we found this at the library before we quarantine and everything was shut down and he really enjoys it. I really recommend this book. It goes through all of the letters of the alphabet and its flaps which he loves and so he can read this whole book to me. He'll say C is for and then cookie and D is for dog. So he loves this book. I mean when we found it at the library we read this for probably like half an hour straight so I knew I had to get this for him. I found it on Amazon. Grayson got a lot of Dr. Seuss books, which we love. These are just two of the ones that he got. Go Dog Go and Ten Apples Up on Top. These are books that I had when I was young, so it's super fun to read them to him because it brings back memories of me reading it when I was little. Of course, these are not the books I had. These are newer books, but the story is still the same. Grayson got this little blue truck uh, springtime version. We have the Halloween version. We also have the original little blue truck, and we have little blue truck nighttime. Um, he loves this book because this, along with the Halloween book, they are flap books. So you open it and they have animals behind the flaps and he just thinks that is so fun. So he loves this book. We read this book a lot. He really likes it. And yeah, I think that's all of the um, gifts that he got. He is spoiled. Um, even though we had to have a smaller party because of coronavirus, he's still got a lot of gifts and he's very spoiled and blessed. And so now we have a lot more toys and it's just really fun seeing him interact with new toys. This came at a great time because we are cooped up in the house. It's still kind of cold out so we can't really go out. So it's really fun for him to have new toys to play with while we are stuck at home. I hear Grayson playing with his farm toy so I'll show you um, before we go him playing with it because he's obsessed with it. Are you playing with your farm? Where's the cow? Where's mama cow and baby cow? So yeah, it sings. He can interact. There's a bell he can play with. Yeah, there's there's num 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 num. There's food, play food that you can feed the animals. It's, it's really cute. He's gonna feed the farmer. That's so nice. So yeah, he loves this toy. 
So yeah, I was just gonna show you what a birthday haul that he got for a two year old and what he liked and what's not been his favorite. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this video because it's already pretty long. So stay safe out there, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Grayson, say bye-bye.